Welcome back folks, I'm Kenjamin and today is the first episode of Wheel of Blocks. So the first block we have for our natural wheel is the grass block and I will get to roll for two different blocks on this wheel and then we'll go on to the building blocks. Well, okay, I have another grass block but of course we're not going to use two sets of grass blocks. That would just be redundant. Ah, cobweb. Okay. So natural blocks are basically anything you can get in like the overworld that doesn't need like any editing or anything. So we move on to the building block wheel. And as you can see, there are so many different blocks that we can use. I hope it's something good. Oh, purple pillar. Okay. So these are blocks that you can get in the end, but of course we can't go into the end. So don't those aren't technically natural blocks. And the last set of uh, blocks are the lights and we'll use jack-o'-lanterns. All right, well, let's get to it then, folks. So the first thing I did was I cleared out this plot of land and um, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do, but I'll just start off with placing like a basic boundary of the purple pillars. Now, I'm not really sure what to do exactly with this build, um, but all I know is for this one, I wanted to make sure that I had a wide base and, uh, you know, I have cobwebs and jack-o'-lanterns, so I guess this will be more like a Halloween theme build. Uh, nothing too crazy, but, uh, I don't think that looks too bad, you know? Uh, yeah, we'll just build up from here and I didn't even notice but I placed that one block in a different form um, So I might have to go fix that later <laughs> because I'm doing the voiceover in uh, Post video editing. I do my my voiceover after I've already edited the video But so far so good. I'm not really sure how tall I wanted this thing to be originally probably like a skyscraper but then <laughs> it didn't work out very well and if you saw I changed my camera positioning because I thought I could make this video look a little cooler but I might have to go and do like a mod or something I'm on bedrock so mods aren't the easiest thing to do um I don't know I've tried to put in a few add-ons, but mm, bed bedrock add-ons are just a little confusing for me. It'll take a little getting used to. Um, but if anyone has any tips on how to put add-ons in Minecraft, like, please shoot me a message on Discord or something. Just ask what my Discord is in the YouTube comment section and I'll, I'll put my uh, Discord info in there. <laughs> well, I think that's what I'll do for that big old base and then you know we got to make use of our grass blocks so here we are <laughs> um for this next build i i'm going to make like a really skinny but a really tall uh skyscraper i guess this is where it's gonna be now since the first building i made was really short and really wide i decided to go with something really skinny and really tall I know this looks like a really weird foundation, but this is what I came up with. So, um, yeah, I guess that's what we're going to go with for now. And uh, that'll just be a passageway. So if anyone ever wants to go inside the building, they'll just use that. Uh, yeah, now that I think about it, I probably should have made this building a little more asymmetric. I'm all about making things symmetric just because that's, I don't know, it just looks better in my eyes. I, I guess it feels like my, my very minor OCD. <laughs> um, and I'll go back to fix those blocks that I didn't place correctly either. So don't worry, my OCD is flaring up just like the rest of you. And now that I'm looking at it, this building kind of looks like a heart. I probably should have just made a heart-shaped building. Why didn't I just do that from the beginning? That would have been so much cuter. Oh my gosh. Hmm. 
but this is just the <laughs> this is just the first episode. I don't want to get too crazy. So here I just place uh, these pillars like on their sides because I wanted it to look like the building was actually falling apart. And I'm trying to go for this like asymmetric look, I guess, or I don't even know, just a messy look. So I wanted, <laughs> I wanted the broken piece of the pillar to just fall over a little more, <laughs> a little, a little further away from the actual building itself. Um, I haven't added the cobwebs or the jack-o'-lanterns yet because those are like the decorative pieces. So I'll go and add those later. Alright, so I moved on to the next building, and for this one, I wanted it to look like it had completely fallen over. So I'm just starting with a very simple base, just like this, and I'm gonna finish that up. Uh, yeah, I was actually kind of struggling with this part a little bit. Um, so I had to like fast forward to where I wasn't struggling as much. Like, I finally figured out how to make this happen. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so I'm trying to mirror the foundation of this building and just make it look like it had completely toppled over, you know, um, just to give that like collapsed feeling to the building. Uh, yeah, I know what you're thinking. A collapsed building should be broken down. Well, I completely forgot about that. Uh, but this is Minecraft. Physics doesn't apply here. <laughs> I mean, look at these. Look at these graphs. No, I'm kidding. That's that's a meme. A meme. I just noticed there are always chickens around me. Why are there so many chickens around me? <laughs> not that I I mind having any company. So I know I'm not being like super duper creative. I'm not adding like very much variation in the build. But I mean, the purple pillars look good on their own. I don't really want to use the grass blocks to to mess up the design in any way. I don't know, like the colors would just be so off. Just all this purple and then you see like a random brown with some green. I don't know, grass blocks are just, are just uh, the foundation. Oh, like another heart. So I'm not really sure how long I want to make this thing, but um, I guess we want to make it long enough so that it doesn't look like I just put some random blocks together. I don't know. The longer the better. Go big or go home, right? I feel like I should have actually just made this whole thing bigger. Now that I think about it. Um, I'm just, I'm used to playing in survival mode. Where you feel like you have a very limited amount of resources. Um, so, <laughs> please don't judge me. Okay, maybe judge me like a little bit. But I'm still learning. <laughs> this is my first time playing in like creative mode um i don't i don't get to play in creative mode very much um i'm just i'm very used to survival mode so like i said very limited resources well i think that's as far as we're gonna get with this building um i guess we'll just jump to the end where i show you how everything looks uh with cobwebs and lanterns well, here we go. Wow, this place actually looks pretty cool at night. Oh my gosh, so many cows now. Okay. Oh, mm -hmm. hello, Mr. Cow. <laughs> well, that's a lot of cobwebs. I hope I didn't overdo it. Yeah, the jack-o'-lanterns actually look pretty cool. I probably could have made this building a little taller, but it's okay. I like it. I wish there was a little, a little more light, like from torches instead of just jack-o'-lanterns. But this is also why I wanted to add light blocks when we were rolling in wheels. Maybe next time we'll add more building blocks? I don't know. Um, yeah, we'll probably add an extra set of building blocks next time. Oh, there's a pig stuck. Oh. Hello, Mr. Pig. Oh, wait. Charlotte's web. It's Charlotte. It's... Oh, wait. No. Char Charlotte is the spider. That's Wilbur, the pig. Um... <laughs> Wilbur got stuck in Charlotte's web. Wait. Am I Charlotte since I made the webs? Wait. 
that's okay that's a little sus um that doesn't look too bad it actually looks pretty cool i might add a few more lanterns just because i don't know the, the, this could also be very Halloween themed. I, I could make this like my Halloween town or something. But uh, this actually looks pretty cool. Look at all the animals. Wow, these cows have really heavy feet. <laughs> Let's see how it looks like from far away. You yeah, know, that's... That's not half bad. I kind of like that. What do you think, chat? I, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. <laughs> well, this is a very simple way to start off my Wheel of Blocks series. I want to make even wilder builds, but hopefully I get better blocks next time. We'll definitely add an extra building block choice for next time. But until next time, folks, thank you for tuning in.